So we're running a careers fair on Tuesday the 3rd of July of this year um, and it's just basically to give our students a bit more information and more access to information about careers and training um, that's available to them. So we've got companies like Fords, uh, BT, all of the local colleges are coming, Lango Rourke, Network Rail, Essex Highways. Um, and we're looking to promote it a bit more, maybe get some more local companies in to come and represent their company and speak to our students about what kind of careers are available within their field and you know what they can offer students and things like that. So it's our first one and we're very excited about it. Um, myself and a colleague, um, Gemma Chip Chipperfield, are uh, organising it and uh, we're looking forward to it. Year 10, Year 11 students, are they quite nervous about the world of work? I think so. I mean, they're probably feeling it from their parents as well, some information um, coming through that way. Uh, it is an uncertain time for all of us. Um, you know, even us here and, you know, friends of mine, family of mine are going through it. So, yeah, it is, it's an uncertain time for all of us and we're hoping to bridge that gap and give the kids as much information um, them, that we can give them to ensure that they get into training or, or work after they leave school. Is this your first careers fair? This is. Um, it's not Hasenbrook's first, it'll be our first, myself and Gemma's as careers advisors here. Um, I think uh, we did run one a few years ago before we were here, but it will be the first one with a new approach. So. And what do you hope that the companies get out of it and what do you hope that the, uh, the students get out of it? I hope the companies will be able to promote themselves. I mean, we've gone local as well as national. Um, but yeah, I hope that they can you know, promote themselves because uh, there'll be students and their parents coming in. So um, it's good advertising, I guess. Um, and our students, just to know that it's not just college or straight to work, there are avenues. And also, you know, you can change your mind and there's a lot of different employment out there and it's just giving them a chance to see it and work out how they can get there. Thurrock is full of people who are self-employed working on their own or teams of two small medium enterprises can you try are you hoping to try and get them involved? Yeah it'd be really great if we could get them involved because that is a big thing especially in Thurrock. Um, obviously the difficulty we're having is for for um, self-employed people to come in they lose a day's work so hopefully um, we can get a few people to come in and just discuss those different options because it isn't just about employment you can have your own thing and if you've got the right knowledge um, it can be successful so it'd be great to have some self-employed and small companies to come in and speak about that so yeah it'd be great if we could. <laughs> and just again when's, when's the careers fair? It's on Tuesday the 3rd of July of this year. From? From 1pm until 6pm. Thank you very much. Thank you.